Are you having a challenge with your team members or your employees on maximizing their productivity? Maybe you wanna get more out of them, but it just seems like everything you do just doesn't work or you just can't get them to improve in the area of being more productive. My name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today I'm going to share with you what I found out over the years and my title of my video is Why Business Owners Fail to Maximize Their Productivity from Their Team Members. And so with that, I want to be able to jump in and one of the things I wanted to share with you was a story that provoked this video. And what I mean by that is this weekend I was hanging out with my son and he wanted to go to the park. And so what does a good dad do? He takes his son to the park, right? And so that's what I did. I took him to the park and while he was climbing up on the playground and doing all these things, he was doing things that were pretty impressive for me, right? Like I was really impressed. And I caught myself about to sit there and be like, hey, great job, bud, good job. Now, that's you might sit there and say, okay, well, what's the problem in that, Joe? He did something amazing. You should praise him for doing something that amazing. And while I agree with you, you gotta be careful. And what I caught myself doing was, instead of saying, great job, bud, what I said was, hey, I'm really proud of how much work and effort you put into that. And why that's important and why you might say, okay, well, what's the difference? The difference is I was praising his effort. Most business owners, what they do is they don't praise their team until they hit the outcome. Most business owners are focused on the outcome, which they should be. But what they fail to do, the reason why their team isn't as productive as they want or maximize productivity is you wait to praise them when they hit their outcome. And then all you tell them is good job, but you don't tell them a good job. Why? Why did they do a good job? What specifically? So along the way, what I've identified is what you want is you want to be able to praise them on their effort not just the outcome I'll praise my son on his outcome too right but along the way I praise him on his effort so I asked him I did a Facebook live and we were doing it and I was like hey are you proud of yourself and he's like yeah right and he was genuinely proud why because he accomplished something so you know great in his mind, but I want to condition him. And if you're a business owner, you want to condition your team members, your contractors, your employees. You want to be able to praise them and condition them around their effort because if they fail for an outcome, they're never going to get that praise. They're not going to want to keep moving. They're going to doubt themselves. They're going to be down on themselves. But if you praise the effort, <clears throat> and they don't achieve the goal or the outcome, that's okay because they're inspired by, and it's, well, you, we don't wanna say it's not okay, right? Like we all wanna hit our outcomes, right? And there's times where we don't. And so I've never met anyone to hit 100% of their outcomes all the time, and if they do, it's because they set these little goals, like really tiny goals, right? So anyway, um, but you praise the effort because then they want to get back after it, get back after it and after it and after it and after it and after it again. We fail to do that. We do this and we start, what happens is we're teaching our kids at a young age, get praised for their, uh, their outcomes. Oh, you didn't get an A in school. You got a B minus or you got a C plus. Well, if your expectation is an A and they get a B minus or a C plus, you're gonna what? What are you gonna do? You're gonna get on their ass. You should have done this, but if they literally study all night, all day when they were out of school, and that's all they did for weeks, and they still got a C plus or a B minus, are you really gonna get on their ass? And that's what most parents do. That's what most business owners do. And that's why they fail to maximize productivity with their team is because they're waiting for the outcome. And if that and if they never hit it, then they're always getting put down instead of reinforce on the effort and the behavior. And when you praise the effort and behavior, if you don't hit your outcome in that praise, you can give critical feedback to them and all of a sudden they can make the proper adjustments and you play this recalibration game over time. If my son didn't do what he did on the playground and he was like a little upset, I would praise his effort. And then I'd say, hey bud, would you like to learn how to do it so that you could be able to reach the top? And he'd 
probably say yes and I would show him and I'd give him praise for his effort again and then he'd probably get the outcome and he'd be so proud of himself that every time we go back he wants to do it again because he knows it's based on the effort. We condition our kids and even you at a young age more than likely we're conditioned to be praised on outcomes and not effort and therefore we just repeat that cycle and then we bring it into business and we wonder why people aren't producing and then we fire them and we have turnover and costs and training and it's just like ah I see this time and time again with people don't allow that to be you or your business praise on the effort give the critical feedback in the middle of that and then you know give them a little bit more praise on their effort again I'm telling you when you implement this <clears throat> you might sit there and say Joe, this isn't my style. This isn't who I am. You can do it in your own way, but make sure you praise the effort. Hey, did you work hard there? Yes, boss. Yes, I did. Right on. And walk away. Like even the hardest of hard people, that means something to that employee or that team member or that contractor, right? Like they understand what just happened. Did he just praise me? Did he just, you know, like give me a good job? He didn't put me down. Holy crap. I didn't hit the goal. All right, I want to go after it. I want to make it happen more, right? Great leaders influence their team and positive feedback, right? Positive feedback is a great place to start, but start with the effort, not the outcome. Make sense? Because I'm telling you when you do that, it makes a world of difference. It's made a world of difference in my kids. It makes a world of difference with my clients. It makes a world of difference with my CEOs and my wife. So praise on the effort. I'm telling you, it will be a game changer. You'll watch productivity from your team increase. You even watch what, how your kids or your partner show up when you do it like that. You got to be consistent. If it's a one or two time thing and that's it, you're just like, all right, I'm going to try it once or twice. It's not going to work. It's something new. It's something that's got to be conditioned. It takes time so that they understand that. So hopefully that makes sense for you. I'm really excited to hear about all the progress you've made or to how your productivity or your team's productivity went through the roof, your business. So let me know, comment below. And I know you found value in this video, so hit that thumbs up button. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button so you can get updated every time we do a video. But you gotta hit that little notification bell right next to it so that you know when the videos are released. So with that, excited to be here with you guys. Looking forward to hearing from you. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.